as CES is drawn to a close, there is a lot of stuff still seeping out and there will be plenty of videos from all sorts of tech channels to come for the next week or two, daily most likely. And there will still be great deals of speculation, such as this from PC Gamer. At the AMD Tech Summit in December, press partners and analysts were briefed on some of AMD's upcoming products. Today we can finally talk about everything we saw. I've talked a lot about Ryzen slash Zen, but for gamers, the bigger news is Vega. AMD gave us a roadmap last year, listing their plans for the GPU architecture, first Polaris, and after that Navi. Polaris targeted the mainstream gaming audience with good performance and efficiency, but Vega sets its sights slightly higher, with release targets the first half of 2017, so most likely we're gonna be looking at June, if anything, sort of like, yeah, it'll probably be June. Vega will launch and then AM, and then Nvidia will most likely launch the Titan X not Titan X I'm sorry the 1080p the 1080p the 1080 Titan it's so fucking tired of these buzzwords 1080 is such a bad name because I didn't want to say 1080p every time along with working silicon AMD is now releasing its first official details on Vega and it's shaping out to be out of this world according to the author of this piece Vega builds on everything that makes Polaris great, but it's not simply a bigger chip with more cores. AMD didn't provide Vega core count or clock speed, but it'll likely be 4096 core clocks at around 1.5 to 1.6 gigahertz. The reasons the author believes that it can be so specific is that AMD has also announced a new line of mach machine intelligence accelerators uh, called Radeon Instinct MI6, thank James Bond, MI8, MI25. Now the MI25 uses Vega and will provide up to 25 teraflops with 16 flow points, half that of 32 flow points, which means that the baseline for Vega is about 45% faster than Fury X. Chew on that for a minute. 45% faster than Fury X should put it well above the performance of a 1080 and possibly even eclipse the Titan and therefore the 1080 Ti. It's not just about the teraflops. However, AMD has reworked several key elements of their GCN architecture, a major one being the memory subsystem. Vega includes eight possible 16 gigabytes of HBM2 in its two stacks. These deliver the same 512 gigabytes of bandwidth as four stacks of HBM1 in Fiji. But with those two stacks, the silicone interposer doesn't need to be as large and HBM2 densities allow AMD to double or potentially quadruple the amount of memory. We've seen quite a few instances where the four gigabyte limit performance in Vega takes care of that problem. But AMD isn't calling the HBM or VRAM, it's now a high bandwidth cache, HPC. And there's also a new high bandwidth cache controller, HPCC, which I've already touched on before in a previous video. But I figured that that one part that I read was the most interesting. If Vega is 45% faster than the Fury X and it's fully capable of taking on the 1080, the Titan and the 1080, TI, this could really change the game for graphics cards in the market. It could also make a huge boost to AMD. We also know that AMD usually prices better than Intel. We also know AMD prices better than Nvidia. No matter how you slice it, even if this isn't right or true, let's say, hypothetically, you know, before people start going, oh, you're an AMD fanboy and I've got a fucking Intel and Nvidia rig right here, dude. Let's say that the Vega is almost as good as a 1080. Let's say it's off by five to 10 frames. All right, what's that, like 10%? Let's say it's that. Even if it's almost as good as a 1080 and it's priced better than a 1080, people are gonna go for that. They are. Let's say that Vega is just as good as a 1080. They're neck and neck, they trade blows and it's still cheaper. Nvidia will have to price itself to be competitive against Vega. Vega will be cheaper. The 1080 will come out. Nvidia might even make it lower than the $800 rumor we're hearing. And then they'll definitely drop the price of all the rest of the 10 series cards. Right now, Nvidia is in a holding pattern. They are holding on to the 1080, waiting to see what exactly Vega can do before they make their next move. Is it a contender or not? If it's a contender, Nvidia will adjust its prices to try and be competitive. If it is not a competitor, Nvidia will just gouge the shit out of us and then everyone will sit there and go, see, told you AMD couldn't deliver, AMD's all talk, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, I don't even see what the point is of being upset with people hoping for an alternative 
into basically what's almost turning into a monopoly and that's not a good thing. As much as I like my Nvidia graphics card and I really do prefer my Intel rig over the AMD one, there's no denying that Intel has become very, very complacent. You know, KB Lake can boost to 5 gigahertz, but in a lot of tasks, especially gaming, there are a lot of instances where the 6700K is faster than the 7700K. What the fuck is that? You can't watch 4K Netflix unless you upgrade to KB Lake. That really sucks dick. On top of that, Nvidia's price gouging. Why did the Titan need to go up 200 extra dollars? Why did the 1080 have to be what $100 more than the 980 was and now we're looking at rumors saying that the 1080 Ti is going to be $800. It's kind of ridiculous but whatever. I'm hoping AMD can deliver on their promises or even come close to them. If Ryzen the CPU is even as good as they say or close to as good as they say I'm seriously considering jumping to it. A fucking 8 core that performs as well as a 6950 fucking X for a fraction of the price? How could anyone have an issue with this sort of stuff? I don't know. I, I'm sorry, I'm going off at a tangent because I just read so many comments of people just pissing on me for being hopeful with AMD and it makes no sense. If there's competition in the market, the consumer wins and I'm all about the consumer considering I am a consumer. Oh well, that's going to do it for me. I definitely need an app. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you as always for tuning into my channel. Uh, you know, if you don't want to, that's cool too. You know, fuck it. Live your life, brother. That's what I say. And find the single healthiest hooker your money can buy in your town.